Welcome to Africa channel. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to help us. The technology to play video games on the go already exists, it just needs a little development. When we first heard the news that Sony, more specifically, Sony Honda Mobility, was developing an electric car, most of us at Motor Trend had the same thought at the same time, surely, Sony would turn it into the ultimate portable PlayStation gaming console. Now we have an answer, yes, you will be able to play PS games in the car, provided you already own a PlayStation console, that is. Instead of a built-in PlayStation unit, the Afila uses Sony's existing PS Remote Play system to connect the car to the owner's PlayStation at home. Are those groans we hear? Yeah, we know that PS Remote Play can be less than optimal. It relies heavily on the speed and latency of one's remote internet connection. Games requiring low latency, fast-paced first-person shooters, for example, don't always work so well, even on home Wi-Fi. The full-on gaming experience via mobile internet seems like a stretch, at least to us Los Angelinos, round these parts, we can barely keep a cell phone call connected while transitioning from one freeway to another. How can we expect to stay alive in Doom Eternal? Last year, Sony demonstrated the low latency of the 5G network with a video showing the Vision S prototype being driven on a track in Germany from a remote setup in Japan. We're not sure how much bandwidth is required to drive a real car versus driving one in Gran Turismo 7, but really, how far off can it be? Driving is driving, right? Right? The supposed good news, Sony Honda Mobility told us, is that the vehicular version of PlayStation Remote relies on the Afila's 5G connectivity. That's not much consolation, since 5G is, in this country at this moment in time, not exactly setting the airwaves ablaze. Must be the interference from those 5G chips injected along with our COVID vaccines, although we're some time away from realizing 5G's true potential, that potential is there. We had the opportunity to sample the ittiest bittiest bit of the Sackboy video game from the Afila Concepts driver's seat. The car was having connectivity issues, and we were only able to sample a small portion of the game's first screen, as any in-depth quest for Dreamer Orbs, we were told, would likely cause a crash, of the game, not the car. To be fair to Sony, we'll remind you that we were sampling the games on the Afila concept car, a very early technology demo several years removed from the final version. Sony Honda Mobility does have time on its side, as first deliveries for the Afila car are three years in the future. On the technology side, a lot can, and will, happen in three years. 5G should be more mature, and the PS5 may well be old hat, another reason PS Remote Play is a better solution. By the time the Afila production car goes on sale, Sony could well be up to the PlayStation 7. Remote connectivity ensures Afila buyers aren't stuck with the video game console equivalent of a cassette deck. And no, unlike the gaming system built into the Plaid version of the Tesla Model S, you can't use the steering wheel as a controller, at least, you couldn't in the prototype, we used a standard PS5 controller, connected by Bluetooth. We asked about a PS5 controller dock. One of the Sony staffers told us that as a gamer that's something he'd like to see, but so far there were no firm plans. We don't see how a dock could be fitted without interrupting the smooth lines of the Afila Concepts interior. Still, Sony is relying on a lot of technology still under development to make the in-car gaming experience possible. The company might want to consider throwing a real-life PS5 in the trunk, you know, just as a backup. This prototype is a preview of the first ev from Sony and Honda's new Afila brand. Cast your mind back to 2020 when Sony surprised us with an electric car concept, the Vision S. After an SUV variant appeared and a couple of quiet years passed, Sony announced a partnership with Honda, called Sony Honda Mobility, which would build cars, ostensibly electric ones, in the United States. At CES 2023, Sony showed a prototype and announced a new brand name for the whole enterprise, Afila. Yes, we're a little disappointed by the moniker. We were hoping the new brand might be called Trini Transportation perhaps with an inaugural model called the PlayStation Wagon. Had Sony partnered with Nissan, the car could have been called the Beta Maxima or the Play Finder. Still, while we may not be Afila in the brand name, we're excited about the yet unnamed car, and not just because we have a production timeline, pre-orders in 2025, first North American deliveries in spring of 2026. Given the powerhouse of partners Sony and Honda have assembled, this could be the first car from the tech industry that actually, you know, works. Unfortunately, SHM, er, Afila didn't give us many of the details we gearheads care about, horsepower, range, number of motors, etc. We know it's a five-passenger sedanish thing, nearly as long as Acura's MDX SUV but with a roofline nearly 10 inches lower, and that it'll have all-wheel drive. Given the timing and Honda's partnership with General Motors, we imagine it could utilize that automaker's Ultium running gear and battery. 
we wondered if it might share bits with Honda's upcoming Prologue electric SUV, though the Afila Concepts wheelbase is nearly 4 inches shorter. Styling wise, the Afila prototype looks much like the earlier Sony Vision with its creases and character lines eliminated, as if someone attached an air hose to the Vision S01 sedan and gave it the 91 Chevrolet Caprice treatment. The pixelated headlights remind us of the Hyundai's Ionic 5's glassed over, recessed units, and there's something vaguely Citroen ish about the overall design, though we can't quite say what, specifically, speaks French. We have come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to help us.